Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the pulmonary surfactants and alveolar collapse. Dear students, the lungs have the ability to stretch and expand due to tension in their walls. This tension in the lung wall depends on the properties of alveolar wall that allow stretching and the surface tension at the liquid air interface that causes resistance to stretch. In the egg factor as a hai joke stretching ko allow karta hai or dusra any surface tension ka factor as a hai jo stretching ko resist karta hai. Overall in kanitida kya hai? के लंग्स की वॉल में टेंशन प्रोड्यूस होती है डियर स्टूडेंट्स द सरफेस टेंशन ऑफ हेल्दी एल्वियोलाई इज कैप्ट लो ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सरफेक्टेंट्स सरफेक्टेंट्स ऐसे लिपोप्रोटीन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस हैं व्हिच रिड्यूस द सरफेस टेंशन on the liquid air interface of the alveoli. The surfactants are produced by the type 2 cells of alveolar lining. These compounds or lipoproteins have a half-life of about 12 hours in humans and other mammals. The pulmonary surfactants reduce the effort associated with breathing. They help to prevent alveolar collapse. These surfactants are found in the lungs of all terrestrial vertebrates that is in amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Dear students, now we shall discuss alveolar collapse. You know that alveoli are very, very small bubble-like structures with very thin walls. Their walls are only 1 to 10 micrometer thick or thin. During breathing, they are inflated and deflated alternately. ये जो continuous inflation और deflation है इन bubble like structures की that creates mechanical problems that might cause their collapse. आप कभी imagine करें कि एक bubble जो बनता है वो expand करें और उसके बाद वापस contract करें फिर expand करें क्या फिर contract करें क्या it is possible but alveoli के लिए ये चीज possible बनाई गई है However, there is still a danger that bubble ki tarah se ye phat sakte hain aur is condition ko hum alveolar collapse kehte hain. The air pressure inside the thin walled alveoli may cause them to burst aur jab ye burst karte hain to they may join with other larger alveoli. The, the, the larger alveoli have lower pressures while the smaller alveoli have larger pressures. So, burst karne ki jo slahiyat hai, wo zyada pai jati hai smaller alveoli with larger pressure mein. Aur is liye agar ye burst karte hai, to they merge with the larger alveoli with lower pressures. As a result, larger sacs are formed. Jab alveoli ki bursting se larger sacs ban jati hain to it overall it reduces the surface area available for gas exchange dear students alveolar collapse does not normally occur it is prevented because of two factors number one the surrounding tissue prevents over expansion of alveoli and number two the presence of pulmonary surfactants 
surfactants on the alveolar surface increase wall tension when surface film is expanded jab alveoli expand kar raha hota hai to surfactants jo hain ye uski wall tension ko increase kar dete hain jo ke further stretching ko resist karti hai and this wall tension is decreased because of surfactants when they the alveoli are compressed जब एल्व्यूलर वॉल्यूम डिक्रीज होता है फुली कंप्रेस हो जाते हैं तो इन दैट केस एल्व्यूलाई की फोल्ड एल्व्यूलाई फोल्ड करते हैं और इन फोल्डिंग्स के दरमियान में सरफेक्टेंट आ जाता है जो इनको मुकम्मल तौर पर कवर कर लेता है ये जो थिक लेयर सरफेक्टेंट की बनती है दैट रिड्यूस इज दी सर्फेस टेंशन दिस परमिट्स them to inflate easily क्योंकि folded will uh, alveoli के ऊपर surfactant की layer है जब वो expand करेंगे तो surfactant उनको uh, allow करेगा कि वो expand कर ले to a certain limit this effect of surfactants also minimizes the pressure difference between the larger and smaller alveoli जब ये pressure difference कम होता है तो इसका effect ये होता है कि chances of collapse कम हो जाते हैं